Hello everyone, this is Gomati Shankar. I am happy to meet you all in a new video. So thank you all my dear 20.6k subscribers. This trading community is growing very fast only because of your support, sharing and all your motivation to do more videos. So thank you each and everyone right from the bottom of my heart. So keep sharing these videos to each and everybody. Keep sharing our YouTube channel to everyone. So now <coughs> in this video we are going to see about trend line. How to draw a perfect trend line. This video is continuation of supply and demand zone. So previously two weeks ago I posted this supply and demand zone video there we discussed about the support and resistance the importance of support and resistance. So those who have not yet watched this video you can watch this video and then watch this video about trend line. So this is the first video about support and resistance and now we are going to see the second video how to draw a trend line a profitable trend line so now what is a trend line see in support and resistance i told very clearly that wherever you sh you see a v shape okay wherever you see a v shape that is called as support and for resistance what i told is wherever you see a inverted v shape for example this is an inverted v similarly this is an inverted v and again this is an inverted v so wherever you see a inverted v that is called as a resistance now we are going to see what is a trend line now trend line is very simple very simple connecting two support or connecting two resistance is called as trend line minimum the minimum connecting point is at least two support okay at least two support and two resistance okay it can be more also no problem but you should connect at least two minimum two support should be connected and minimum two resistance should be connected if there is three resistance if there is four resistance if there is three support if there is four support then no problem okay so joining of two support and joining of two or more resistance is called as trend line the name trend line itself will tell you very clearly trend plus line that is called as trend line drawing a line okay drawing a line based on the trend based on the trend we are drawing a line that is called as trend line now where is the support first we have to identify the support for example here this is a support and this is a support right because we are getting a v shape can you see we are getting a v-shape so this is called as support now we are going to join these two support using a trend line can you see this tool trend line okay if you want to access the trend line tool you have to click here okay trend line tools you have to click here and the first option is trend line click that now I am going to connect this support and this support and you have to extend it you have to extend it till the current market so I have connected this particular support and this particular support now again we have to connect the top also see trend line can conduct only support or only resistance okay if you want you can draw support trend line alone or if you want you can draw resistance trend line alone so when you draw a support trend line when this particular area is broken see here 
here the trend line is broken at this particular area in nifty 50 this is chart of nifty weekly chart so here the trend line is broken which tells us that market is going to fall which tells us that market is going to fall now what is our target for target what we will do is we will fix the horizontal support this horizontal support will act as a target okay so when the trend line is broken at this particular region your target will be this support line your second target will be this support line if both of the supports are broken the then the next targets will be based on the historical support where is the historical support see here here there is a support on 2017 can you see here look at the support this is a beautiful support in the year 2017 and exactly at the same support now nifty took support and it started to reverse it started to reverse so when a trend line is broken when the trend is broken what is the trend of nifty see here the trend of nifty was going up it was coming down again it was going up again it was coming down now again it should go up but unfortunately the trend line is broken unfortunately the trend line is broken now when this trend line is broken for fixing our target we will go for a short in futures or we will go for a buying put option so when we are going a short position in nifty how will you fix the target where the nifty will go and take support for that we will use this horizontal support lines this horizontal support lines will be acting as our targets okay now this is called as trend line so when you draw a support for example let us imagine there is no trend line let us imagine there is no trend line so what you will do you will wait for this support line to be broken okay this is a support line until this support is broken you will be waiting for taking a position but when you draw a trend line when you draw a trend line you can take position as soon as this trend line is broken and you can take a early entry at this particular candle itself you can take a early entry at this particular candle itself so that is the advantage of trend line the trend is violated so the trend is reversing the trend has been changed <coughs> now once again see here here in nifty in the year 2015 and 16 can you see two resistance see here this is a overall resistance okay inverted V and this is another overall resistance this is inverted V now we got two resistance point now we are going to connect these two resistance this is called as trend line this is called as trend line okay similarly we got two support lines also <clears throat> where are the two support lines see here we are getting a v shape once again we are getting a v shape okay so we got a two support line so i am connecting these two support also so this is called a trend line okay top of a trend line will act as a resistance and bottom of the trend line will act as a support so now let us draw with the help of trend line tool so this is a trend line i am connecting both the top now i am connecting both the bottom so what happened nifty was going inside this particular trend line it was going inside this particular trend line see here it is coming down it's going up again it's coming down now 
it has broken on the upside otherwise what if there is no breakout here what would have been happen it will take resistance and again it will come down so it's just like a ball the candles are like a ball okay if you throw a ball inside a wall this is wall number 1 and this is wall number 2 if you are throwing a ball inside the wall what happens it will go up it will come down again it will go up and it will come down so it will be going inside this area it will be going inside this area similarly candles will travel inside this area when there is a momentum for bulls it they will break on the upside if there is momentum for bears they will break on the downside so here we have connected two resistances okay and we have connected two supports so now you know very clearly what is a trend line a trend line is a a dynamic support and resistance the other name for trend line is dynamic support and resistance horizontal support and resistance is the usual support and resistance which we are doing this is a dynamic support and resistance based on the trend of any company or any index we are drawing a line this is called as trend line and look at here here there is a breakout in the trend line here there is a breakout in the trend line after that look at the rally of nifty see it has given a beautiful rally it has given a beautiful rally so this is how we spot the trend this is how we spot the trend if you are using horizontal support and resistance what happens this is your resistance and here this is the another resistance this is the another resistance so when you are drawing a normal support and resistance you will get some late entries but when you draw a trend line we will get some early entries because the trend is changing at this particular point the trend is changing at this particular point so we will get some early entries clear so now let me take this bank nifty now in bank nifty if you see my older videos if you are seeing my old videos about bank nifty review on jan january 15 13 14 or 15 i don't remember the date exactly i told very well i predicted very well that this is a trend line this is a trend line on january 13 14 or 15 i guess it is 13 i am not sure i told very well on this particular area itself see when bank nifty was trading at this particular region i told market is reversing and market is bearish bank nifty is bearish i told in my bank nifty review videos so i was bearish in bank nifty and i told in my youtube videos even if bank nifty goes 1000 2000 points up i will not go for a buy because bank nifty is forming a perfect channel now see here as i said in the trend line concept there is two support there is two support okay and there is two resistance see here there is two resistance clear so i have drawn this trend line now market reversed perfectly at this particular point and when the bank nifty was trading around this particular region i told bank nifty looks weak and bank nifty may come to this particular level i told very clearly in my videos this is purely based on trend line only the point is i am not coming here i am not telling to prove i made it okay i am not proving myself that i am correct i am justifying you that the powerfulness of trend line is very very accurate 
trend line is very very important and it has got more powerful you can easily and confidently predict the market now here the trend line is broken beautifully at this particular candle okay at this particular candle the trend line is broken now how to fix the target you have to fix the target based on horizontal support so this this is our first target this line is our first target and our next target is this particular line and as as the support is getting broken again and again we will fix the historical support as our target here there is a v shape right a perfect v shape this we will fix as a target okay and bank nifty started to reverse exactly from this particular support clear so this is the importance of trend line so this trend line you can draw for any time frame not only for weekly you can even draw for one hour chart you can even draw for one hour chart for example let me take the one hour chart of bank nifty see here in one hour chart of bank nifty it is going in a perfect trend line see here the one hour chart of bank nifty is following a perfect trend line can you see this so this is how bank nifty is moving it is going up and it is coming down again it is going up and again it is coming down now again it has reached the top now we have to wait and see whether there is a breakout the breakout can happen either at the top or at the bottom it depends on the momentum for the bulls and bears it depends on the power if bulls are having power what they will do it will break the trend line on the upside if bears are having power they will break it on the downside if there is a breakout at the top how we will fix our target we will fix our target based on historical based on historical resistances okay like this is a this is this is our first target and this is our next target and subsequently this will be our third target our fourth target and so on like this we will fix the targets okay so make it very clear trend line means joining two supports and two resistances in a dynamic manner in a dynamic manner now when it comes to drawing a trend line many people they used to do some mistakes for example i have told you to connect two resistances right now enthusiastic people what they will do this is a resistance and this is a resistance wow this is a trend line like this they will do some mistake this mistakes will be done by enthusiastic traders okay so you should not draw like this this is looking like a awkward trend line okay a trend line should look like a angled manner okay a trend line should look like a angled manner for example you can connect a trend line like this or you can connect a trend line like this okay and you can connect a trend line like this so there is a there is no formula for drawing a trend line please remember that you can draw a trend line on any angle or any design any method you can draw a trend line there is no formula for drawing a trend line so don't think whether this is a correct trend line or not whether that is a correct trend line or not please don't think like that because there is no predefined format and all you can draw a trend line based on any method like you can connect these two top okay you can connect these two to bottoms okay you can draw like this also see here here i have connected these two resistances and i have connected these two supports so like this also you can draw no problem okay so there is no proper format for drawing a trend line the thing is it should look beautiful the trend line which you are drawing it should look beautiful as soon as you draw a trend line the chart should speak to you 
the chart itself should tell you the trend on seeing the chart itself the person should understand the trend that is the perfectness of drawing a trend line okay so keep it very simple connect two resistances and two supports your trend line is ready now i am coming to a very very important point now i am coming to a very very important point see here now i am drawing a tree i am drawing a tree see in a tree if you are taking a tree the first important part of a tree is root root is the first and foremost important part of a tree if you are pouring a acid into a root of a tree what will happen if you are pouring a acid into the root of a tree what will happen the entire gigantic tree will die similarly support and resistance is very very important in a chart support and resistance is very very important in a chart okay it is similar to root of a tree that is very much important the second important part of a tree is the trunk a trunk or bark anything this is the second most important part of a tree if i am cutting the tree if i am cutting the tree with the help of a axe what happens again the gigantic tree will die similarly the second important part of a tree is trend line the second important part of a chart for a tree the second important part is trunk for a tree the first important part is root similarly for a chart first important part is support and resistance the second important part is trend line now in a tree leaves are there okay leaves are there flowers are there fruits are there okay they are not that much important because if one leaf has fallen down another leaf will grow if one flower has fallen down another flower will blossom if one fruit has fallen down again another fruit will come up okay so leaves flowers and fruits it will come down and again it will grow similarly the less important listen carefully the less important thing in a particular chart is chart patterns chart patterns what is the chart pattern chart pattern means people use the fancy words double top double bottom people use the fancy words triple top triple bottom people use the fancy words head and shoulder people use the fancy words cup and handle okay inverted cup and handle inverted head and shoulder okay round top round bottom like this people will use fancy words those are less important they are not necessary remember those are not necessary the first important part is support resistance and trend line only this double top double bottom triple top triple bottom head and shoulders and cup and handles are used by people to trap the retail traders these are used to by people who charge 20000 30000 for technical analysis course these are just to trap the retail traders and these are just to fake the retail traders and these are just to cheat the retail traders because these are not important the most important part in your chart is trend line and support and resistance now people will tell you see here now people will tell you nifty is bank nifty is forming a double top people will tell you bank nifty is forming a double top okay see are listen clearly instead of telling it as a double top this is a trend line man accept it this is not a double top this is a trend line 
okay if the trend line resistance is see this is a resistance this is a resistance line this entire line is a resistance if the resistance is not broken what will happen reversal will happen am i right or wrong if the support is not broken this is a support line this entire line is a support if the support is not broken what will happen reversal will happen reversal will happen if the resistance is not broken what will happen reversal will happen reversal will happen but they are cheating you this is a double top this is a double bottom this is triple top triple bottom just cheating you and they are plucking you 20000 and 30000 don't trust them if resistance is not broken if support is not broken 100% reversal will happen respect the trend line that is enough that is enough clear and what some people will tell head and shoulder cup and handle see these are unnecessary patterns okay these are unnecessary patterns i know one technical analyst okay he was telling that bank nifty is forming a cup and handle see see how how foolish it is how foolish it is he is telling bank nifty has broken the cup and handle this is a real foolish they are cheating you to pluck money this is not a cup and handle okay this is just a resistance breakout see here just just few minutes ago i drawn the resistance right it has broken the trend line it has broken the resistance that's all take the entry don't complicate yourself this is the main thing this is the problem with retail traders a simple support and resistance they are not trusting so what other people are doing they are taking it as an advantage and they are telling advanced technical analysis okay pro level technical analysis and they are cheating you with this simple cup and handle these are just imaginary drawing okay these are just imaginary drawing this is not a cup and handle this is just a imaginary drawing if you are looking at this chart for 1 hour you can see a lion inside the candle okay so this is just a imaginary drawing just follow support and resistance resistance is broken take the entry trend line is broken take the entry that is enough don't complicate yourself with with this support and don't complicate yourself this support and resistance as a double top triple top head and shoulder like that these are fancy words used to trap the retail traders to pluck money from you 15000 20000 30000 50000 i don't want my retail traders to get trapped again what they will tell you sir nifty has fallen sir bank nifty has fallen you don't know that but we know that we know this is a head and shoulder this is a head and shoulder so only bank nifty has fallen they will tell you and you will also believe that you will also will believe that okay this is just a imaginary pattern okay this is just a trend line breakout see here this is just a trend line breakout see here the bulls momentum is decreasing can you see here the bulls are going up now the momentum for the bulls has reduced the energy of the bulls has reduced see here the bulls are having 100% energy now the energy has decreased to 30% only then what will happen then the bears will take the control that's all then the bears will take the control so the momentum of the bulls has decreased so there is a breakout the support is broken the trend line is broken i told you very clearly right see here this is one support this is another support this is another support and here there is another support so that is broken that is broken and bank nifty started to fall very simple now the support is turning into a resistance see here we saw right this is a support this is a support line this support line is turning into a resistance can you see here it is turning into a resistance 
what does it mean support turning into a resistance i have taught 100 times in my videos if support is turning into a resistance then it is a bearish market very simple trend line is broken the trend line support is turning into a resistance that is a sign of bearish market but what they will tell you they will tell you sir this is cup and handle this is cup and handle advanced technical analysis come on attend my course pay 30000 20,000, 25,000. See, for teaching this simple thing, charging high money is really painful for a retail trader. This is just support resistance. This is just trend line, my dear people. Trend line is broken. What is your target? here also support is broken what is your target this is the first target what is your next target your next target will be somewhere around here here you can keep it as your next target this you can draw it as your target here also there is a small support you can keep it as your target so this is how you fix your target don't complicate yourself as a head and shoulder cup and handle those are not necessary those are imaginary patterns clear support resistance and trend line are very very important in a chart and other chart patterns or other price patterns are not important and not necessary that's all my dear people it's very simple and easy so thank you all if you like this video please each and every one share it to your trading circle if you are having any doubts don't hesitate to post it in the comment section clear thank you bye